Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the rational root theorem. So after discussing the remainder theorem and factor theorem, we also have the rational root theorem, or rational root theorem. Came from the root word ratio, that means we have in your previous read, we have the P over Q. That means P over Q ratio, then Q must not be equal to zero. But unlike in our remainder and factor theorem, we have denominators. Then find the zero of the denominator. Then use the synthetic division. But in our rational root theorem, let's have this problem. Find the roots of P of X is equal to X cubed minus 3X plus 2. So in this case, we don't have the denominator. And we cannot factor this using the factoring technique. So applying the rational root theorem, first step, just get the factors of our constant term. So our constant here is 2. So factors of 2 can be 2 times 1, negative 2 times negative 1. And factors of the leading term. So the factors of the leading term is positive 1 times positive 1, negative 1 times negative 1. Okay. Those are the factors. Or we can rewrite this as positive, negative, positive, negative 2, positive, negative 1. This is our P. Okay. Factors of P all over, factors of Q, positive, negative, now, if we're going to divide, this will give us positive, positive 2 divided by positive 1, that is positive 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 1, that is positive 2. Positive 2 divided by negative 1, that will give us negative 2. So, it's simply positive negative 2, and in this case, positive negative 1. Now, after getting this, we need to substitute in our given p of x is equal to x cubed by this 3x. So let us write the given p of x. Now let us substitute in our factors of our p, p over q. So we have, let's say we have positive 2. It's going to get negative 2 positive 1, and negative 1. So let's just substitute. So we have, if our x is 2, so we have 2 cubed minus 3 times 2 plus 2. So 2 cubed, that is 8, negative 3 times 2, negative 6 plus 2 is equal to, so 8 minus 6, that is 2 plus 2, which is 4. Okay. Next, negative 2. Negative 2 cubed minus 3 times negative 2 plus 2. So negative 2 cubed, negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, this is negative 8. Negative 3 times negative 2, positive 6. Copy positive 2. Negative 8 plus 6. Negative 2 plus 2, 0. Now let's have P of 1. So we have 1 cubed minus 3 times 1 plus 2. So 1 cubed, that is 1. Negative 3 times 1, negative 3 plus 2. So 1 minus 3, that is negative 2 plus 2, 0. And P of negative 1, so we have negative 1 cubed minus 3 times negative 1 plus 2. Negative 1 cubed, that is negative 1. Negative 3 times negative 1, positive 3 plus 2. So negative 1 plus 3, that is 2 plus 2, 4. Okay, notice in our factors, 
by remainder theorem, and by remainder theorem, we have equal to zero, equal to four, equal to zero, equal to four. Now, for the rational root theorem, if our zero for the p of x, therefore, there is the factor of our x cubed minus 3x plus 2. These are the factors of the given power given. So now to get the roots, so the roots are, the roots are, so 0, that is negative 2, and positive 1. So the roots of this root. Function is negative two plus one. So that is on how to find the roots using the rational root theorem. And now let's have our second example. Determine if three is a rational root of the polynomial p of x is equal to six x cubed plus x squared minus forty seven x minus thirty. So we're just going to test whether 3 is a rational root of the given polynomial. So let us substitute p of 3. So 6, 3 cubed plus 3 squared minus 47 times 3 minus 30. You substitute 3 to our x. Now we have 6 times 3 cubed, that is 27. That is 27. 3 times 3 times 3, 27. Plus 3 square, 9. Minus 47 times 3. So 21 carry 2. 12, 13, 14. 141. Minus 30. Now we have 6 times 27. So... 7 times 6, 7, 14, 21, 42. Carry 4, 6 times 2, 12, plus 4, 16, 162, plus 9. So we have negative 171. So 162 plus 9 is 171. Minus 171, that would give us 0. Now, the remainder is 0. Therefore, 3 is a rational root of the given polynomial. So that's on how to test whether the given root is a rational root of the given polynomial. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo Dave.